what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be a quick review of the short film fan film that came out last night on youtube by renee rivas written and directed by renee rivas the spirit of haddonfield now since we are just a few short weeks away from the actual world release of the uh 2018 david gordon green follow-up to the 1978 classic this fan film actually gets me right in the perfect mood for the upcoming film uh, Renee Rivas and everyone involved with this film, I just want to say that you guys did an amazing job of cap capturing that essence of Haddonfield and the aspect of what it of what it actually looks like uh, when when we're in that season of fall. Uh, the setting and the cinematography for this fan film, of course, it's not the best, but for what they're working with, they did a very fantastic job of what they worked with. They made something beautiful here. Uh, our main girl, Hannah. I think the acting with her, it was solid. It wasn't anything over the top. I do think it could have been a bit better as far as that's concerned, but it was still a very entertaining fan film. Uh, basically, we're following, this is set in like an alternate H2O timeline. I think it's set in an alternate H2O timeline because of what I was seeing, Hannah is playing the uh, granddaughter of a certain character that everyone is going to be familiar with. I'm going to try not to spoil anything. And I think her father is going to be another character that's also present in the H2O film. Uh, I think that's pretty much all you need to know to put two and two together because I don't want to really get into spoilers. Uh, but to move forward, the person who played Michael Myers in this film, he did a fantastic job of actually capturing the overall walk of the shape, in my opinion. Uh, he's like far better than some of the other people that actually were legitimately in the position of Michael Myers in the actual film's continuity series. So like the people who played Michael Myers from Halloween 4, 5, and 6, I think those are some of the worst people who were casted to play Michael Myers. Uh, yes, I do think Halloween H2O and the Resurrection Shape casters, the people who were cast to play him in those films, I think they were much better. I even think I even think the guy from Rob Zombie's remix was better. And this guy in the fan film, I'm not really sure what his name is at the moment, but he did an amazing job playing Michael Myers here. And I just really like how this film captured that spirit of Haddonfield, because that's what the name of it is. It really captured that Haddonfield, Haddonfield vibe that you got from the original film. Uh, they have the iconic music playing in the background while Hannah's walking home from what I'm assuming is school. She's having conversations with her grandmother in and out, and then Michael Myers shows up out of nowhere, and he just stalks her uh, for, uh, for a night of terror, basically. Uh, when Michael Myers first comes on screen, I think they do an amazing job of introducing him. He kind of comes out of the blue and then they have that that music that everyone is familiar with. If you're not, if you've seen the original film, it's that music that plays when they turn the lights off upstairs, that music there. I think they do an amazing job uh, putting that aside with him being introduced on screen. I didn't, I did like the mask that he was wearing here. I thought it was a very uh, well done Michael Myers recreated mask. Like I said, Renee, Renee Rivas, you did an amazing job with this. I can tell you're easily a, a very big fan of this of this series since you wanted since you actually went out and made a fan film. I think that shows that you are very dedicated and you actually do enjoy the series and you have a passion for this series and you want to see it thrive and get back to its roots. So hopefully uh, with the spirit of Haddonfield, you get a lot of recognition for this because I think you did an amazing job. Uh, shout out to everyone involved with this fan film. I enjoyed it. If you guys would like to check out Renee Rivas' uh, short film, The Spirit of Haddonfield, I will leave a link to it in the description. Also, I'm going to have my links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies you would like me to review in the future. But with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. Also keep, also keep in mind that it is October, and I'm going to have a lot of horror movie reviews coming out every other day for different movies. So if you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications, because coming out tonight, I will have my Poltergeist review.